That is a big one. Ooh. No way. Did he smoke it? Oh, my God. Instantly. Good morning. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today, we are going to be doing some weight fishing. This is the perfect time of day uh, to weight fish. The sun just came up and um, it's incoming tide right now, so it should be good. I haven't been out here in a very long time. Last time I came out here, the water was way too high. It was right after a really bad storm that just uh, came by. It's like a couple days after the big storm. No bites, surprisingly. It's incoming tide, like I said, it's negative tide, but it's, it, the water is starting to come in. So it should be good. Let's get out there and hopefully we crush it. We are gonna be throwing a whole bunch of different lures today. Um, we're gonna start off throwing the net shrimp and then maybe later in the day, we'll switch to uh, paddle tail slam shady. We'll see what happens. Hopefully we get some keeper flounder, big sheep's head. We'll just, we'll just see what happens. It'd be nice to get a keeper flounder though. That's the goal. Um, that's why, I, the main reason why I came out here is to catch, try and catch keeper flounder. But we'll see. I don't know what's going on, but the past couple of years, flounder fishing has tanked. So we'll see what happens. All right, just pulled up to the spot. Looks like somebody's already here. Uh, weight fishing, barefoot. <laughs> um, we'll just see how it goes over here. I haven't been here in a while. Ooh, I just spooked some a small little red right here. The good news is I don't think the footprints are fresh. Um, it looks like somebody came out here like a, f I don't know. Definitely not this morning, so we should be good. So I got a bunch of mullet in front of me. You know, sometimes there'll be a school of like sheep's head out here just swimming or just posting up in these, uh, one of these potholes and they will hit the artificial net shrimp. Running 15 pound leader right now, super light. I might struggle if I hook onto like a mid 20 inch snook. They will break you off sometimes. I am seeing something tailing up there. I'm not sure if it's mullet or redfish. We're just gonna work these mangroves for now until we get to the uh, the center where I'm seeing some tailors. Might just be mullet. Who knows? Come on. Oh, there's a fish right here. Oh, broke me off. That was a snook. I knew it. I freaking called it, dude. We are going to tie a Albright knot, improve Albright knot. So make a loop, slide that line through the loop, give it about like, I don't know, a couple of inches to work with, and then wrap that tag end and that leader about 10 to 15 times going that way, away from your thumb. I lost count, <laughs> always happens. That looks about 10 to 15 right there. Go back half, about seven times or so. That's good. Now go back the same way that, that, uh, that main line came in, just like that. Do it again one more time. that let's do one more so three times I always leave short tag ends always I don't know why but definitely leave enough tag ends wet it just like that cinch it down there it is improve improve all bright knot something I don't tie very often Pretty good knot. Then just gotta trim off the uh, the tag ends. Let's see if I have. Oh, I got more. Look at that ruby of gold. Freshy, freshy Ned shrimp. Just gotta find some hooks now. I got some hooks in here. I'm so unorganized, guys. Don't be like me. Tie the jig head on first using a loop knot, simple loop knot. 
kind of wish I had on 20 pound, man. I thought about ha uh, switching it out earlier before I started fishing, but you know how it goes sometimes, you know, you just can't wait to make that first cast. And I paid the price. <laughs> it felt like it was a decent fish. I wasn't sure if it was a snook or a big old sheephead. Cause it was like right up against the mangroves. Might've been a sheephead. Cause these, sheep, these sheeps that they do hang around the mangroves, um, munching on these uh, barnacles that are growing on the roots of these mangroves. All right, here we go. Let's rig it up real quick. Go in and out, just like that. Push it all the way through the jig head to the jig head. Just like that, and then turn it. I just heard the snook pop. Might've been a snook. Line it up, just like that. And then get an idea of where that hook's gonna be coming out of. And then just go through and just push that point of the hook through like that there you have it that's pretty uh pretty straight to me right there let's get it let's land the first fish here there's a fish there's a fish what is that what is that oh redfish Ooh, not a bad redfish there, man. Yes, sir. First fish of the morning. Look at that. Solid little red. Nice. Oh, yeah. Hopefully there's more of them out there. Good size red right there. I mean, I'll catch these guys back to back all day. Look at that net shrimp. I can feel them drumming. Let's get them back in the water. Let's get them on hook first. Oh, hold on, guy. I'll let you go. One second. One second, dude. Oh, he's bleeding now. It's all right. There we go. Comes right off. Pretty cool little red. Let's see if we can get uh, another one. Or a slam. That'd be cool to get a snook, trout, maybe flounder later. But we'll put this guy back in the water. Look at its tail, lit up blue. That is so cool. All right, see you, dude. You know, it's kind of hard to, to tell if these fish are mullet or not, because they're like, I mean, they're not big, these redfish. They're like literally a little bit bigger than the uh, these mullet here, full grown mullet. Bunch of them. Look at them just stacked up. I think these redfish are sitting um, on the bottom. So I don't think they were tailing. What I, what I was seeing was probably just mullet swimming in schools. What is this here to my right? Is that sheep head? That's a sheep's head. Let's see if it will take this. Oh, spooked. He did not like that, man. Sometimes they take it, sometimes they won't. Whole bunch of sheep's head in front of me right here. Let's see, Let's see if it will take this. We're just gonna stand right here for now and just try to get, catch more fish. See if we can whack a, a snook or something, or more reds. There's a fish. What is that? Small. What is that? Oh, mangrove snapper. <laughs> that is crazy. If you guys are looking for a lure that'll work, a mangrove snapper. Check out the net shrimp. Can't wait for these bigger, bigger mangrove snapper to start showing up probably later in like the summer and like early fall. Definitely gonna throw that net shrimp in front of them. Probably my favorite lure right here to throw so far. Good fish there. What is that? The heck is pulling drag a little bit, it's weird. Oh, mangrove snapper. <laughs> little dude all right we're gonna go to a different uh different spot here let's put this guy back see we're at a new spot now looking really good we got the wind uh, blowing from the back over here so should help with casting a little bit we're gonna see if we can't get on fish over here Ooh. There's a fish. Oh, he might be a keeper. 
No. Man, these guys, you know, they, they stay down. That's what makes them heavy. I don't know. He hit like he's a freaking 14 incher. <laughs> Pretty cool though. Let's see if there's more of these guys. Look at that. Got him right in between the eyes. Comes right off. Oh, see it. He's right under, under my feet right here, but. All right, we got one. <laughs> Not a keeper, but we got the targeted species. Let's see if we can whack a 14 incher, man. Here we go. Right here. What was that? Ooh. Ooh, look at that trap. <laughs> right off the edge of this grass here. We hit it. Catching variety today, man. Oh, he's hooked pretty good. This little guy is not going anywhere. Just kind of wish he was bigger. You know, like a like a 20 inch, 20 inch trout would be awesome, but let's put him back. See ya, dude. Oof, that was a good bite right there, man. What the heck? Oh, came back for it. He came back for it. What is it? Trout. Another one. <laughs> Little guy. Come here, dude. Let's see if we can get a bigger trout. There's got to be some big trout around here. Cool though. Let's see. Let's see if we can get some decent fish. Right here, off this edge. We, we, we might walk a little bit further down. If we walk further down, it might be, might be good. We'll see. I see another point right there. So it might be good to walk all the way down there. We have redfish, trout, and flounder. All we need is a snook, and that'll be our inshore slam. It'd be sick to get an inshore slam right here today. There's a fish right there. What is that? Ooh. Wow, good one too. Better, better than the two, the last two I caught. Oh yeah. Ooh. Eh, a little bit better, not by much. Definitely a keeper trout if I wanted to keep it. Come on, guy. Yeah, good trout. Hold on, dude. Hold on. Oh, there you go. One second. Come on, let go. Let go, dude. Back in business. Let's try to get on a bigger one. Yeah, man, these fish, they're sitting on the edge of these, uh, these grass here where it drops off. They love that. I think they might be stacked up right here. I mean, they have like nowhere else to go, really. Let's hope they're stacked up here. We'll see. Bunch of bait fish over here. Little glass minnows and they're all the little small bait fish. So that's a good sign. Might be some flounder here too. That's a good bite right there. Um, lots of mullet. Oh, come on. Just inhale it. Oh yeah, that's got to be another trout right there, man. For sure. Maybe. He hasn't come up yet. Usually they come up and shake their yellow mouth, but it's got to be another trout. I can't tell how big he is though, because he's... Oof, that's a big one. That is a big, big trout, man. That is a big one. Look at that trout, dude. You know how... Oof. He's right there. No. Lost him. Sorry right, though. Quick release. Dude, that's a big trout. There's another. Oh, it's a ladyfish. Dang. A lot of ladyfish out here. Smoked it. Little guy. See it. Let's uh, throw on a slam shady paddle tail. See if it makes a difference. See if you can cover more ground that way. You can cover more ground better with the uh, 
paddle tail versus like a artificial shrimp or jerk bait. Let me know what you guys think about that. Here we go. There's the Slam Shady paddle tail. If you guys want to pick one of these packs up, it's going to be free. Link's going to be down in the description box below. Just got to pay for shipping. There we go. Good looking bait right there. There it is. Found him. I don't think he's as big as the other one. Nope, not as big, but hey. <laughs> he might be on a school here. I don't know, I'm just skipping him on the surface. He's small. Where are your parents at? <laughs> Love that swim bait. See you, dude. See if we can whack a 20 incher over here. I have yet caught a 20 inch trout over here. I mean, that last one I, I caught, that last big one, was definitely close. Probably 19 and a half, 20 inches there. But let's see if we can get more. There it is. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. Oh, yeah, on the slam shady paddle tail. I knew I needed something heavier, something bigger. That's a good 17, 18, I want to say. Probably 17 inch shot right there all day. That's a good one. The one I lost earlier was definitely bigger than this guy here. Nice. Look at him. Pretty cool. He's skinny, man. That's why these guys are, you know, feeding like crazy. Ooh. See ya. Hold on to him right here. Look at all them. Jeez. Jackpot, baby. Look at that. Ooh. They're out today, man. Today's my lucky day. Today is my lucky day. Look at that. Look at all the bait. Oh, yeah. Look at all those fiddler crabs. I got lucky there. Found a whole bunch of fiddler crabs just running along the shoreline and it took about 10 minutes to pick them all up. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take a dozen fiddler crabs down to the first spot where we were seeing the, uh, the sheep's head. We're gonna see if they'll bite. Let's go. Just made it back to the first spot where we saw a whole bunch of sheep's head. Um, we're gonna start off throwing this mangrove tree crab here around. I know I have the fiddler crabs in the uh, sling pack here, but mangrove crabs are out. So we're gonna grab a couple more. Here's another one. Oh, that's all right. We're not gonna waste time with those uh, mangrove crabs. We got plenty, plenty fiddler crabs in the um, in the backpack here, in the sling pack. Ooh, no way. Did he smoke it? Oh my God, instantly. Instant bite. A decent one on the mangrove crab, baby. Let's pull him over here, see how big it is. <laughs> Jeez. Look at the sun. Oh my god, mosquito everywhere. That's a good fish right there. I got mosquitoes on me too, guys. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but... That's a good fish. Man, he smoked it. I don't know if he's a tournament winning sheep, but he's pretty big. Pretty big. Wow, he sucked it up. You know, catching these fish, these uh, sheep's head, does not get old to me. I don't know why. I, I enjoy catching sheep's head, personally. I know a lot of guys don't like catching sheep's head, but I have a lot of fun catching them. Let's put them back. See ya. We might throw artificial lures later, too. See if we can get on snook or something. But I need to kill this mosquito before he's right here. He doesn't know what he wants to do. He's dead. Let's get one of the fiddler crabs. Actually, we'll use that last um, tree crab I have left in the uh, in the bag here. Look how big he is. That's gonna be money. That's gonna be good. Here we go. We're gonna hook him like on the back. I'll show you guys where I like to hook these uh, tree crabs and. Any crabs, really. The idea is to hook him at a spot where he is still alive and kicking. So like, something like that. 
So he's still, he's still, look at that. He's still going. There's somewhere here. Oh, he turned at it, he turned at it. There it is. There it is. <laughs> Fishing the flats for sheep's head. Let's go. That's a good one right there. That's an eater. Ooh, a little, little drag screaming. He's not all that big, guys. I've seen bigger. He is a, he's a keeper. Definitely over 12 inches there, probably 13. Man, these guys are fat. Look how fat he is. Look at the belly on this guy. Definitely 13 inch fish right there. Oh yeah. Mm. Take that back, maybe 12. 12 and a half. See. Let's see. We gotta find bigger, bigger sheep. Decent one just swam toward it. He's gonna, he's just gonna smoke it. He got it. Good one. Good sheep. <laughs> Let's bring him away from the school. That way we don't spook him. Oh, he's got another one next to him. No. Big ones. It's like they hang together. These bigger, bigger sheep. It's like the little ones hang with the little ones and the big ones hang with the big ones. You know, there are a lot of like shrimp here at, at this spot. I just saw them kick. Oh, drag screamer. Oh yeah. <laughs> drag screamer, baby. Yeah, we'll get up, we we'll get up back in there in a little bit. I, I don't want to spook any, uh, any fish. So we're going to land them over here, away from the school of the, the sheep and everything else. Come here, guy. All right. Good fish. Let's put them back in the water. See you guys. I mean, these fiddly crabs are so small and they're still smoking it. Just like that, guys. Just like that. That's a good one. Let's see if he'll take it. Oh, he smoked it. <laughs> this is so much fun, dude. <laughs> There's something about sight fishing. I don't know what, I don't, I don't care what it is that you're sight fishing for. It's just a lot of fun seeing the fish, you know, charge at that bait. You uh, just pitched out at them and just smokes it. It's a blast. You know, another keeper right there. Another keeper sheep. Look at that, guys. And for those of you guys that don't know, these uh, sheep's head, they are excellent eating. We're not keeping any fish today. Look at him. Look at his fins, man. I don't know if the GoPro can see that, but look at his fins. Look at the dorsal fin. That color, pretty sick. Let's put him back. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's a good one right there. This is crazy. I mean, every single bait we throw down gets smoked. Yeah, there are some good ones right here, right in front of us. Oh yeah. That is a gooder one right there. Oh, he went toward it. Oh, he's all over it. He's, he took it. Oh, another one right here. Oh, smoked it. No way, what's going on, man? Oh yeah, the bigger ones are mixed in with the, uh, the school of mullet. Oh, he turned at it. I think he got it. Yes. He was swimming towards me. He's a better one. Actually, he's about the same size. 
keeper. Another, another keeper. I could easily limit out on these guys right now, but we're probably gonna have to catch a couple more and uh, head out. But look at that. Good eating size fish right there. <laughs> See, oh, the big ones are right here. There's the school of big ones to my, straight ahead of me. There we go. It's good. There's so many of them, dude. There's no way. Like, one's gotta freaking eat. There's so many of them. There's some right here. Oh, he turned out his. Oh, no way. He... Oh, yeah. Good one. That's a good one. Gooder, gooder sheet by there. <laughs> <laughs> this is way too easy. Oh yeah, baby. Yeah, definitely a better one. These guys are all fat, man. They've been eating good in here. I don't know what they're eating, but look at the tummy on them. Every single one I've caught got a fat tummy. Let's put this guy back in the water. Again, a lot of fun to catch. See ya. He took it. Smaller. Dang, man. Seen big ones, but they're not. Look at that. That's a big one right there. Little guy. <laughs> Ouch. Crazy fins on him, man. See that? Look at that. Jellyfish. He's gonna see me. Oh, he doesn't see me. No way. He went toward it. No way. No way. He ate it. He sucked it up. Oh my god. That was the last crab. That was crazy. That was a good one too, right here. Here's what I'm thinking. Since the sheep's heads are biting right now, let's see if the snook are uh, chewing too. I mean, I came out here this morning, caught one red, two mango snapper. It was pretty, pretty slow. So, oh my God, big sheep right there. We're not targeting sheep right now. Out of crabs. I mean, they'll hit the net shrimp, but it's like, 50-50. There's a fish. Oh my goodness. On the net shrimp, baby. Sheep's head. Big one too. Oh my gosh. Couldn't resist the net shrimp, baby. <laughs> oh yeah. Yes. <laughs> he smoked it. Let's get a picture of this guy. We're getting him on artificial lure and live bait. Good one. Send him back. See ya. Good deal. What a successful day of fishing. All right, we're back looking for the flounder. Man, they are far in between today. I don't know what it is, fish on. What is this here? Looks like a flounder. No, it's a, it's a baby gag. <laughs> He's staying down like a flounder. Or was. Pretty cool. Little dude. Come on, flounder. Maybe, maybe they're chewing now. So we're gonna give it about 10 to 15 more minutes. Just pitching that artificial shrimp around. See if we can get a decent fish. Ooh. There it is. What is that? Ah, flounder. Dude, look how small this guy is. <laughs> Literally the flounder nursery over here. I found them. <laughs> Just not big ones. <laughs> Dink. See you guys. There's a fish. 
Ooh, this guy's feeling dried a little bit. What could he be? Please let it be a keeper flounder. No. <laughs> Can't escape the sheep. <laughs> Net shrimp does it again. Sheep's head on artificial lure. How often does that happen? Tell you what though, that net shrimp, man. Net shrimp will get them. They just love it. I don't know what they think these are. Maybe crawfish or something? I don't know. Something. Shrimp. Probably think they're shrimp. But there's so many other shrimp, art artificial shrimp out there, you know? I mean, I've thrown a lot of artificial shrimp lures, but the net shrimp gets the sheep's head, man. Before we head out, I just want to, you know, pitch a couple of, uh, I want to make a couple of casts right here. Because last time I came out here, I was seeing a whole bunch of snook just stacked up right here. Let's see if they're still around. Oh yeah, I see them right here. To the right a little bit. I see them. I see them. I'm just going to work it close to the, uh, the school. Pitch this way out there. It's going to slowly work that lure to them. Ooh, good bite right there. Water's a little murky, hopefully that'll see me. Oh, I hit it. There it is. <laughs> yes, sir. I knew one of them would bite. Yes, sir. <laughs> I mean, he's not all that big, but this will be my slam right here. Inshore slam, baby. We freaking killed it today. Oh. There he goes.